It stinks. Oh yeah, yummy. Hey views, it's not Caroline here and welcome back to another I bought new makeup makeup vlog. Makeup vlog? Tutorial? Review? It's a review because it's new stuff that I've never ever tried before. Um, now I've got some really exciting new stuff, things that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, so this particular product, I've wanted it for a very long time. Uh, it only came out in America. It's only suddenly just come out in like an on like an England uh, makeup. So it's like Sephora, but it's called Beauty Bay. So basically, they put um, stuff on there that you can buy in England that you can't normally. So it is blood sugar. It's the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette. I've wanted for this for so long. So. I dropped £46 on this bad boy, £46 I dropped on this, that's like a month's food <laughs> and I dropped it on this because I've wanted it for so long, we're gonna, we're gonna open this together and pull this out together, oh my god the squeak is all I ever want in life, it is so beautiful, the fucking packaging is incredible, can't open it. Jesus, that's stiff where it's so good, such good quality. Look at it. Oh my God, I'm in love. And these colors work so well with my eye color. Oh, I love it. Eh. So I haven't, I haven't dipped into it yet. I've been waiting to do it on camera for you guys like I normally do. So I have the blood sugar palette. That is what we're gonna be trying out today. We're also gonna try a couple of other things. So I bought a new highlighter. <laughs> Now y'all all know that I love the I Love Makeup brand and their highlighters, their baked love heart highlighters. This is Golden Goddess. Let me just focus that, there we go. Uh, and I, it's like a gold, yeah, it's golden, but I tried it out, actually kind of still in my hand a little bit. I tried it out in Superdrug, I was like, I'm gonna get that and buy that and try that because it's really good. So we've got a new highlighter to try, a new palette to try, and look how massive this beauty is blender is fucking huge it's huge i didn't read it properly it says large body blender and you can see that there this is from primark it cost me like two pound oh hold on 250 there we go two pound 50 oh this cost me 4.99 by the way um but yeah 250 and i was like it's a massive beauty blender and i just kind of went for it and I was like I'm having that and then I realised it's for body and I don't really do much with my body but we're going to try it on the face because I thought it'd be funny so we're going to get it out of this packaging and go wet it and come back in and use it for the foundation uh, but it's, it's, it's huge it's so big go away box no one wants you anymore it's massive it's so squishy I feel like it might be quite good for face just one big bah, bah. it stinks like product you know when you get that smell that's like um, plasticky? It's that kind of smell. Let's go down there. So we're gonna go damp this. It's gonna take up the whole of my bath water to damp this sponge. You're gonna go damp it and I'll be right fucking back. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is it damp. It's literally doubled in size. It's like holding a fucking dinosaur egg. Here we have the pterodactyl egg. As you can see, my David Attenborough impression is shit. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we've got to do, as usual, is prime the goddamn face. Let's prime this face. Prime, 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 prime. I don't think I'm gonna go straight in on the sponge. Well, I suppose I have to. Oh, it, it, <laughs> this is not gonna work. It's so big, I feel like it's it's just for body. What would you use this for? Like, I'm so confused. I feel like it's just gonna be a novelty on my shelf. I don't think I'm gonna actually use it for anything. So we're gonna get our Huda Beauty foundation and our Primark foundation and mix them together as per usual. I think we might just go straight for the face because I feel like um, it's not going to work. Oh. Oh. What is going on there? That is a, it's like fucking 50p waste worth of foundation. Let's have a sip of gin before we carry on. Mm. Woo, girl. Okay, so now we've got the foundation on our face. We're going to try and use this massive beauty blender. It's humongous. Let's just, I don't know which to, to go in like the side or if, I'm gonna go flat, I think, first. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh god, it's so huge. Oh, oh, kill him. It's literally so, it soaked up my product so much. It's not, um, it's not the best thing to use. It does cover quite a big amount in one, in a small space of time. Like, but um, it absolutely eats the fuck out of your product. Now I know how good this foundation is and I know that it covers really well. Um, 
but this beauty blender is eating it. It's eating it for dinner. It's clearly hungry. There's still, you can still see blemishes where the product just isn't there. That's just, but it feels really fun. It's really, like, it's cool. It's kind of nice to be smacked in the face of me. <laughs> so I don't hate this. I kind of, it's fun. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun. If I ever did anything where I needed to kind of like, contour my body or bronze my body which i clearly need to contour a six pack sometime soon because you know the hot weather's here i need to try and pretend that i at least have some sort of decent body i can use this but it's not very good for product suckage it just sucks it all up and it's kind of almost gone so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna move on to our smaller one i mean look at it compared <laughs> It's so cute, the little one. Uh, I'm gonna go damp this one and, and try again, so one second. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a bit more foundation on this one and just kind of cover up the places where the big one didn't really work with. So yeah, this one's that much better. Okay, so because this is a, uh, it's not a foundation or concealer, tutorial I haven't bought anything new no reviews on it I'm gonna go conceal set bronze blush highlight my face and I'll be right back and then we'll try out the blood sugar oh no not highlight I lied because we've got to use the new one everything with a highlight I'll be right back <laughs> okay so now we've uh, bronzed and blushed I'm so ready to dip into this palette you have no idea I'm actually gonna wash my hands with a big wipe because I don't want to touch it with dirty hands I'm so excited, like, I, don't, I don't even know what kind of looks to go for. I'm not gonna Google kind of what looks to do, I'm just gonna try it myself and kind of see what's going on. There's so, I've never really done a red eye look, like it's not something I've ever tried to do. I think it's, I just never really, I don't know why, I don't know why, I have no idea why. God, I don't even know where to start really. I think we're gonna start by putting the white, which is called glucose, which is this one in the corner here. We're gonna put this white, right up on the brow bone and kind of just start from there really and see how pigmented and i mean there's a tiny bit of fallout not really a knot let's bang the excess off and we're just gonna go for the white up here it's not too bad not too shabby okay and then we're gonna go i always look for like the the most kind of subtle ones on there, but I feel like I should just go bold and go for a pro. I think I'm gonna do two for different eyes. I think I'm gonna go for like uh, a kind of red and gold look here and a purple and pink look here, just so I can kind of see the two differences on there. So I'm gonna take this brush here. I'm gonna go for uh, Cake Mix, which is this third one here. And I'm just gonna kind of go underneath that white and get that in there. So this is the red eye that we're going for on this side and just kind of blend it into the white. I really, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking this color. Like this is a color that I could wear daily. Like it's it's like a nude and I could just go out like it's such a simple color. I really like cake because it's probably one of my favorite. And who doesn't love cake? We all fucking love cake. I love cake. I love gin. And speaking of gin, let's have some more gin. <laughs> now I'm not gonna go for the masking tape here and have like a sharp look, I'm gonna kind of like round it down um so i don't know if we're gonna we'll do a little bit down the bottom just so it kind of blends in when i do the red on it so we'll drag the cake mix down we're gonna go for uh tongue pop which is this color just here and we're just gonna add that onto the lid oh yeah no that's good it's, it doesn't you think it's not gonna be like as, but I don't know why I assume it's not gonna be as pigmented. I don't know, no idea why, but it's really is good. So I've added tongue pop just there. I'm gonna go for blood sugar, which is this dark red right here. I'm gonna get that on there, tap that off, and I'm gonna go in. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. It's fucking beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love with the shape of you. So we're just gonna do this like end corner. It's so pigmented, this one is incredible. I'm gonna do that, blend it up slightly. Yeah, so like reds and corals and pinks and stuff work really well with my eye color. Like a, I have like a gray, I call it, it's called sea green, where it's kind of 
grey green. Like it's the colour this of the sea when you go to like fucking South End in England. Like it's not a pretty sea. It's like a dirty sea. <laughs> That's the colour we're going for. Okay, so I want the red to like pop the fuck out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um get some concealer and just do this kind of this half down and then put the red on there so it's really bright like in your face and we're gonna drag it from the corner and just kind of work it up towards where that darker shade is where blood sugar is but, and then we're gonna get uh just a small brush here we're gonna get prick which is Bottom left, right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's very, very red. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Yeah, it's really red. So we're gonna get that and put that where the concealer is. And I hope it's as red as it looks. Because reds are kind of hard to do. But they do come out quite well if they get them right. It's the red I've been needing all my life, but never knew I wanted. And then we're gonna kind of mimic the top with the bottom. So the lighter red's gonna go this side. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go back over with the blood sugar. So we're gonna get we're gonna go back into blood sugar and go back over where we went, just so I can kind of blend the lines in where it's darker to light. What I'm also gonna do is kind of go gold here, gold here. Uh, just so I can show the gold off because they've got one we've got one that's called sweet now one that's called donor I think I'm gonna go for the donor because it's a lot nicer gold. We're just gonna put it right in the corner It's much more bronze than I expected it to be I wanted it to be like a like a gold, but you know, I'm not not angry with it I like it kind of blend it up a bit into the reds that I've got going on but I want it to be a corner colour. Yes, I'm living. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, my pencil brush. That was loud, can you not be? Thank you so much. I'm gonna get my pencil brush and I'm just gonna go in with extraction, which is this one right here. Uh, and I'm gonna go, I know it's the purple one, I'm not doing that side, but I'm just gonna darken up this bottom line because I always like it to be a little bit darker. Okay, so this is, I I think I'm happy with it. Like this is the red side, obviously without any mascara on or any eyeliner. Um, and I always like a bold corner. It's very bronze in the corner, but I, I'm generally enjoying it. Uh, I feel like we need a bit more. I'm gonna go in with cherry soda, which is this one next to prick. And I'm gonna just go on top of that blood sugar. It's just so incredibly pigmented for a red, it's just so good. I've been longing for a red like this my whole life. Okay. I'm gonna get a bit more of cake mix and blend it in and up. Okay, so this is the red eye done. Uh, I'm happy with it. It's very bold, it looks incredible. So now we're gonna go on to the purple slash pink eye uh, and kind of decide what to do that. So we've always got, already got the white up at the top. Uh, I'm gonna get brush and I'm gonna go in with Q oh no not Q <laughs> O positive which is this colour here it's like a grey kind of purple it's quite a nice colour we're just gonna go in tap that off and we're gonna go like we did with the cake mix literally in the same places um so we're gonna I'm sorry let me do that so you can see I really like this colour as well. This is kind of like a nice nude that you can go with as well. Like, um, I enjoy it. This is like kind of, this is let's go to fucking Pride look. And this is let's go to the town and buy some shopping look that I enjoy. So now we've got um, O positive down. I think, I think I'm gonna go for root canal uh, and layer it on top of that one, which is the really bright purple in the palette. So we're gonna go with the Morphe brush because it's the only brush I have left that isn't covered in shit, which is always good. So we're gonna get some of that on there. It's very pigmented. Look at that, it's so good. Oh my god, I'm impressed. And we're just gonna put it on the lid and layer it up towards our positive. I'd be positive that I like these colours. Purple is hard to get right.
Okay, now we've got the base purple layer down. I'm going to go in with Coma, which is this very dark purple right in the corner. Uh, and again, we're going to apply the same place that we applied the um, blood sugar. Again, very pigmented, lovely. And we're just going to go in the same place. So because it's darker, we're just going to build it up into the middle. Okay, so now we've got that down. I'm gonna go for um, extraction again uh, and just kind of get that a bit more darkness. I don't know if it's gonna work. Fresh meat might work as well. Let's try Let's try fresh meat, which is just here. That one there, let's try fresh meat. I just wanna get a different kind of color in here. Just wanna work it in. Oh, that actually works quite well. It's quite a nice color. Okay, so now we've got the dark. We're gonna do the concealer again. We're gonna do the same thing on this side that we did on that side, and that's do half the lid kind of down and across. It's so weird, it's like, because I've got astigmatism, which means that my left eyeball, or right, or whatever it is, but this is, my left is me, uh, is kind of squashed. When I close this eye, I, I can't really see my lid as much as I do when I close this eye. So it's a bit difficult to do kind of cut creases on my left eye, because I can't see it. <laughs> as well as I can on the right, which is so strange. Okay, so now we've got that. What we're gonna do is go for the pink. The pink is called Cavity and it's here. It's so Barbie pink, it's ridiculous and I cannot wait to use it. We are going to dip in and I'm gonna show you that fucking pigment. That is incredible. And we're just, we're just gonna go straight in. Oh my God. That pink is incredible. Oh, it's so good. And we're just gonna drag it down again. Mirror it. No, that's not what I wanna do. We're gonna mirror that side to that side. Literally, it's so pink. Oh God, it's so good. This palette, I've been wanting it for so long and it has not disappointed me in any way, shape or form. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, so now we've got that. Again, I like to go into the bottom with a darker color. So we're just gonna go back in with Fresh Me and kind of go over the pink there. Just because I like to kind of line off the eye line. I mean, that pink is fucking incredible. I'm liking this purple eye a lot. I like the red eye, but I'm really liking the purple eye. I'm really liking how it kind of all, um, the colors work really well together. The purple and the pink work so well. It's so pretty. Okay, so I've got to do a corner for that one. So I'm going to go in with, with Candy Floss, which is this. Uh, shimmer here. Uh, it's like a purpley pink kind of shimmer. So we're gonna go in with that one. I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna use my finger. As rogue as, they are so soft. Are you fucking joking? They're so soft. And I've ruined that one by putting my finger in it. It doesn't look as good as the others, but it's the softest fucking eyeshadow I've ever touched in my life. Oh, they work so well. That corner works so well. Oh my God, yes, I'm fucking living. You have no idea. I don't want to get it dirty. Like with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I don't want to ever get it dirty. <laughs> I've got it dirty. There's dirt on it. There's dirt on it already. Disgusting, wipe it off, wipe it off, quick, quick. So this is the shadows I've gone for without any mascara or foundation or um, eyebrows done. So literally the pigment is fucking incredible. This is so awesome. I'm going to Pride on Saturday and I'm using that fucking palette. Like it is just absolutely amazing okay so now we've done that i'm gonna go do my eyebrows and mascara and i'll be right back okay so i've done eyebrows and mascara and i've decided to do something pretty crazy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my purple and red lip liquid lip and put the opposite on either side because fucking i'm mental man so we're gonna start with the purple and get an angled brush and that's literally what i do i just draw it on like that and then i just go in and kind of go over so i don't know how much it's gonna work but it may work. Let's just give it a go, shall we? Okay, so the red works better than the purple one. You have to kind of build up the purple layer uh, and kind of wait till it dries and then, you know, put a bit more on. Um, but it's not too bad. Liquid lip isn't the best thing to use for liner, especially if you're doing kind of contrasting colors. They don't really show. But you know, that will do. I've also done a blue kind of underline, if you can see like um, on the waterline is blue, because blue goes with both. So now we've got that done. The eyes are officially done. Like they are so pigmented, it's ridiculous. So the next thing we're gonna do 
is try out our new highlight now i haven't even opened it like it's still in the plastic so it's just so we're just gonna put it out of the packet there it is comes a little love heart form now i have one already this is my old one this is the kind of pinky one that i always like to use i found like foundation just so incredible so this is the new one it's so gold it is incredible so we're going to swatch it first we're going to do a little bit there show you oh God, it's so gold and just come down here i mean it's it's just incredible it's just an incredible pigment like baked foundations always work so well so without further ado let's get our highlight brush let's go in and let's just put it on the cheek and see oh my god yes living 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 so we're gonna put it on the cheekbone so good up here on the nose right on the nose cupid's bow chin there's a lot on that nose that's a shiny nose that's a very shiny nose if you can see that better when i turn the light down you can see the highlight a lot better Oh, and it's 4 99 Like, what do you want from me? Can't give you anything else about how good this highlight is. Okay, so we've done that. That's literally all the products used. So we're going to put some lipstick on. We're going to go for Jeffree Star. And we're going to do, like, a nude kind of Jeffree Star. It's called Chrysanthemum. Let's put that one on. Let's take this foundation off my lips. My wipe has dried. Okay, so we're going to go in. We're going for Chrysanthemum because it's quite a nude contrasting colour. Like, it doesn't clash with the eyes too much i could have gone for a green i feel like a green would have been really cool but i wanted to do jeffree star so if i had a jeffree star green i would have used it but i don't we we'll finished this look off by getting this Lush Dropper. Now, it is basically just like a gold liquid that I you can use for a highlight. You can use it on your eyes. Like, it's literally incredible. But I'm going to put it on the lip and kind of dab it in. So, I mean, look at that. It's so, it's so good. So, we're just going to do that. And we're going to have it as like the lip highlight to kind of go with the gold there. People don't think about or underestimate Lush stuff. Like, you don't think about going in there for makeup, but sometimes they do some incredible shit in there. And you just think, I need that in my life. So there's just a little bit of gold highlight on the lip. Now we're going to set this bad boy and we're fucking done. And then we're going to review the products that we've bought. So are you ready for this? Oh, it's... Okay, so this is the final look. Okay, so this review, starting from the worst. So this is really bad for your face. Like it doesn't fucking work, but it's so novelty that I had to have it. And it's really cute and kind of bouncy. And it looks like a big dinosaur egg. And I'm just gonna keep it on the dressing table just as like, you know, it's cute. And if I ever use it for body, then I'm sure it will work fine. This is incredible. And I feel like I'm just always gonna buy I Love Makeup like highlighters. They're so good. They're so good. And the Golden Goddess one is just brilliant. And I suggest getting a baked highlighter because fucking how it lasts forever. It lasts forever. And I prefer them over any other highlight. Like, I should have used a Jeffree Star highlight, I realised. Maybe we'll get one out. Hold on. Let's get a little, let's get a little bit of Jeffree in here. We're just going to get his Platinum Eyes palette, Jeffree Star one. And we're going to go with a Canary Bling, which is this yellow one here. And we're just going to redo the Cupid's bow. Just so I can say... I've got a little bit of Jeffree Star highlight on there. There you go, lovely. Okay, so that is obviously a big win. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to review this. This is fucking incredible. It's incredible. There's no, there's not a lot of fallout. There's so much stuff in there. The fucking packaging is so decent. It's such decent quality. Like you get little clips on it. I've never seen a palette like this before. It's incredible. And when I first saw it, I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this. And I'm so glad I got this. Um, so if you're on a budget, save up for this because it, it is a lot of money if you don't have that like, half money. But I don't regret dropping 46 pound on this at all. It was free postage, don't regret it. I am in love with it. It's incredible. Let me just open it up again and show you this bad boy. Oh, it's just so good. Only thing I'll complain about, there was no plastic sheet on it, which means my mirror got a bit dirty and there was no thing to pull off the mirror. So the mirror is a bit dirty, which kind of annoys me. But apart from that, everything about it is incredible. There's some colours here I haven't even used yet and I'm excited to dip into them. But I used, I used quite a lot to be fair. Um, 
I'm in love with it. I mean, this is my new favorite palette. I'm using this for pride. I'm using it with pride. So yeah, that is my review on my new products. Anyway, thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. I really appreciate it. Remember to push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Okay, bye now. Bye, 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 bye. I can't stop looking at myself, which is so vain, but it's fucking, it's incredible. This palette is incredible. It's changed my goddamn life.